Does Judaism believe in reincarnation? Absolutely. Every soul, every person comes down here with a mission. Each person has an individual purpose. The, there's a collective purpose that we all have to uh, fulfill the Torah, that we all have to study the Torah, engage in the Torah, fulfill the mitzvahs, fulfill the commandments that have been given to us. And each one of us have our own unique way of, of expressing that, of, of channeling that. Some do it through song, some people do it through teaching, some through writing. There's an infinite amount of ways in which those uh, general purpose ideas can be manifest by an individual purpose, uh, by an individual person. If someone leaves something undone, or if someone does something that is off gauge from their mission, sometimes as an act of divine mercy, as divine kindness, a person can be given another shot. A person can have another opportunity. It's not, in some faiths, the idea of reincarnation is this ongoing, endless process that doesn't really have a rhyme or reason to it, or it's like a reward. So uh, if, you, if you were good all of your life, you can choose to come back as a butterfly. Right? It doesn't, that's not, it, reincarnation is a mechanism for the soul's perfection and enhancement. If the soul had something lacking in it because of not doing something throughout the course of its life, Gilgulim, reincarnation might be a way that the soul can rectify itself. If the person did something that they shouldn't have done throughout the course of their life, Gilgulim, reincarnation, may be a way of correcting the soul. It's all about the soul's eternal correction. One thing that's always important for us to remember is that we were us, our soul was us, before we came into a body, and we will continue being us long after we've left our body. We are not human beings we are, that are physical creatures that are having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual creatures that are having temporarily a human experience. 